This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. They hey, like we here. Should, what we say we should mention before we wrap things up that you guys are getting back on the road. It was announced last week, and and just this past Friday, tickets went on sale. AEW getting back out there, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Excited about that. You know, uh, somebody's going to say, "Well, how do you get excited about going to the airport, going through two more TSA uh, uh, security points?" You got to, you know, here's the deal. I got, I got a lot of airtime. Airplane times, flying time. I'm used to it. And, uh, so it doesn't bother me. And the other thing is we're going out, you know, I'll most generally, I'm going to leave on Tuesdays, Tuesday morning. So I got backups to get to where I need to be Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday, early evening. After the show's over on Wednesday, I'm probably going to, uh, uh, fly back here or at Oklahoma city. And, uh, cause OU has three home games in September. So I'm planning on making those little, I missed every game last year. I'm not going to do that this year. Uh, I have both vaccines. I don't have a problem wearing a mask. I'm not defiant in that respect. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it, but we got some really, you know, some of those tickets have been on sale since last year. Right. And, and it's, I, and it, what I find it, considering it cash flow, some people's lives are tenuous. I don't, I don't think the amount of, uh, refunds requested have been amazingly low because people have a good seat. They are sitting where they want to sit. They knew at some point in time, we're going to get far enough along in this COVID, uh, climate to, uh, to get back on the road. So I, I'm excited about it. And you know, we got some really cool places we're going to travel to. I can't remember the ones that went on sale first, uh, but they're all viable cities. So I'm looking forward to it, Conrad. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, and, uh, so I don't dread the plane rides and all that stuff. Hey, it's going to come with some, there's going to be some delayed flights. There's going to be some issues. No doubt about it. That's just air travel. But I'm very excited about the fans being able to see what we do in person, uh, with a lot of folks there. And I got to believe that some of these places are going to have, you know, we, we play smaller venues. It's a more intimate setting. Uh, you know, you can do 5,000 people. It looks like there's 20,000 people there because every seat's full. So I'm excited about it. I hope folks get their tickets early. Uh, AEWTIX.com can process all that stuff for you. And it's not like we're leaving Jacksonville. We're not. We're still going to be doing some sh- a lot of shows in Jacksonville. But uh, getting back on the road, I think, is a great move for our company. It's a great move for our talent because some of these young cats haven't had that many opportunities to wrestle in front of a big crowd. I think it's going to increase the work rate. I think it's going to be more exciting. It adds a lot of pep to my step. I can tell you, because there's nothing like the adrenaline you can, you can, uh, take from the audience. They motivate me. And so I'm excited about getting that back out there and, uh, and having some fun with it. So stay tuned for that, Connie. So it'll be good. And maybe down the road too, we start doing some, uh, some shows tied to the, uh, to these, to these tours, you know? Yeah. Well, lots of people have asked, are we going to reschedule the show in Rochester? We're going to see what happens when we get back on the road. Stay tuned. Uh, I know that uh, both Tony and JR would like to actually deliver on that show that we've had yeah. to sort of stop and start a few times because of COVID, but we're not starping barbecue and boy, everybody's talking about jrsbbq.com. Lots of people itching to get that all purpose seasoning, but no matter what you're looking for, there's something for everybody, whether you're talking about main event mustard or chipotle ketchup and two different versions of the barbecue sauce. And it's all happening at jrsbbq.com. Right, Jim? Yes, sir, buddy. And you know, the thing that we got a hot streak, uh, we're making big strides, positive strides, get everything back in stock. We got to anticipate our sales and our, the run on certain products better than we did in the past. I'll take the hit for that because I own the, it's my brand. So, uh, but we're going to take major steps to make sure that doesn't occur. Uh, but what we're doing Conrad right now is that, you know, we, we found about 50 copies or so of the old, uh, JR's cookbook. So I'm going to sign those. We're going to sell those 50 books, uh, 
And then we're still selling the hell out of it where we personalize, uh, uh, under the black hat or slobber knocker. So the book business has taken another big breath and to, and the sales of, the, of under the black hat and slobber knocker, by the way, are very strong. So, uh, I had a meeting, oh hell, maybe just a few days ago about book number three was with that, with Simon and Schuster Tiller press. So it's something I got to brainstorm with Paul O'Brien about, and anybody's got any good ideas that they'd like included in the third book, you know, you're always welcome to, to tweet me, message me or tweet me, whatever you want to do. I kind of like to know what people are thinking, you know, because you've seen, I've taken it so far, uh, chronologically. So we left off under the black hat, unfortunately with Jan's, uh, passing. But also, uh, you know, I just signed a deal with AEW. So, uh, you know, I don't know that that's the way to go or there's something else, uh, topics that might be interesting to cover, maybe a series of shorter stories, but, uh, we're thinking about doing that deal. And there's still interest in LA about, uh, under the black hat becoming something on video. So, you know, who knows? I, all I know is that. We're going to go back on the road. We're going to do live wrestling in front of people. And, and that's going to be a, a great situation. But in, in the meantime, you can visit for free at jrsbbq.com. And we appreciate everybody's support very much. And we'll see you next week right here. Talking all things Lex Luger on grilling JR with the voice of wrestling, Mr. Jim Ross. Thanks Conrad and have you on the Mr. Folks. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your business. Have a good day. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.